Okay, guys, you are going to love where we are today. You're going to be obsessed. You've seen it before, and I know you're dying to see it again. Prepare yourself. We are at Falconry Carry, which means this is going to be an amazing video. You're going to see things you have never seen before, and they have so many new birds. So let's get on this adventure. Hi guys, come here. Can we touch you? You can, they won't spit at you. Lamb, oh. lamb has spit Ooh. at you, alpacas usually don't. Oh yeah. Hi! Hi! <laughs> They're looking for some food, you want to feed them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not hungry? Okay, you are. Oh, he's soft on his chest. What okay. do you have there? So, this is Erica. Erica is 11 years old, so she's a female Harris hawk. Wow, she's beautiful. How long do they live? Harris hawks, well, in the wild, they might live 12 to 15 years, but in captivity, they'll often live up to 25, 30 years, sometimes even more. Um, and uh, the reason for that is in the wild, they have a slightly tougher lifestyle. They have to be fighting fit every day. And if they get sick, then there's nobody going to look after them, you know? So they here with us, uh, they don't have to fight for their food and there's nothing going to try and eat them. So they live a little longer. Wow. So that'll get you some gloves if you want to, want to try it out. Absolutely. This is her meal time. So we're taking her out to feed her. They have uh, falcons, hawks, birds, prey in general are quite, um, I, I'm not going to say they're lazy, but they like to conserve their energy. And that is because they eat 100% meat diet. They don't eat carbohydrates, you know, no seeds, nuts, anything like that. So um, they need to save their energy for when they really need it. So after we have flown Erica here, she pretty much wants to be left alone and to relax for the rest of the day. So we and fly the birds once or twice a day normally. What is that she's eating? This is some chicken. This oh. is probably the least gruesome of the foods that she likes to eat. She also likes to eat mice, rats, guinea pigs, quail, um, any kind of small animal. We try and give them a varied diet to kind of replicate what they'd eat in the wild. How did you find out she likes guinea pigs? Well, we took a survey, but uh, no. Um, so <laughs> they, <laughs> guinea pigs, yeah, I suppose um, it's the same kind of food that a lot of people that might keep snakes would feed them. Mm. And it's just good to vary the diet. And also guinea pigs are native to South America which is where the Harris hawk originates from. Okay, that looks like a chicken foot. It is. Great. Hold on, here we go. <sighs> Look how beautiful you are. Guys, how amazing is this? You don't think you could be a vegetarian, no? Do you feel like they connect with you? Like Definitely. I mean, if you do some research on forums and online, you know, things like that, They'll tell you that birds of prey never really form a close bond with their falconer, not like a dog. Um, and I'll just give her another here, keep her busy. Um, but uh, I, I think that that's debatable and it's individual, it depends on the bird. Some of them form a closer bond than others. Have you ever been able to like pet the Yeah, hawk? some of them. Um, like you can, if you want to, you can try and touch her feet. She won't, the worst she would do is fly away. She's not gonna hurt you or anything. Okay, so. come on Erica. I'm gonna touch your food, see. Oh. Oh, I wanna kiss you. You can't kiss the hawk, George. Beautiful landing. George, don't touch the. George's! <laughs> he could have stayed on me longer. Are you a star? <laughs> or what if we walk? Would you walk with me? Oh yeah. We go for a walk. So. What? what is this is Cookie. 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 Cookie is an African spotted owl. Hi, Cookie. <laughs> so this is Cookie. She's one of our oldest birds. She comes in at 16 years old. 
She is the grand dame of the falconry here. And then her kind, they're quite happy on the ground as well. They will nest on the ground. She's got an adorable little run. Cookie? Yeah, come on, walk for the people. Come yeah, in. <laughs> There you go. So she sounds a bit like, and looks a little bit like Grumpy Cat. <laughs> but cat. that's just her feed me voice. And it sounds like she's been on a diet of bourbon and cigars for most of her life. Say hey, Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> cookie, do you have sass? Yeah. <laughs> so the whole idea behind these, uh, these little horns mm -hmm. is actually to make her look like a cat. I was just going to say yeah. she looks like my cat. Yeah. So if you can imagine if you're a predator and you're walking up and you see her on the ground, you might mistake her for a cat. Yeah. So just you'll stop and go, huh? And that's just enough time for then for her to fly off to safety. What does she weigh? One pound, eight and a half ounces. So we weigh the birds every day, every morning, so that we can see just how much to fly them. Because obviously you don't want to overfeed them. Right. It's all gone. Oh. Hey. Yeah, bags <laughs> all gone. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you look so good. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I have an owl on me. Did you okay. have an eagle also? Yeah, um, we have an eagle as well called Ken. But he's, he's not going to fly today because he ate too much yesterday. <laughs> he's just going to sleep for the day. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Look at his eyes, look at this. This, this is Leah, this is actually a little bit nervous about Whoa. alpacas, she doesn't like them. Um, oh really? Yeah, but she's a great grey owl and she is almost five years old. We got her when she was six weeks old, she came from Scotland. These are the tallest species of owl in the world, but they are, or the, the longest, but they're just all feathers. See that? It's, wow. They've got a really, really dense coat of feathers. <laughs> Oh my god, look at you! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you TV or do you just stick a CBC? <laughs> huh? Oh wow! <laughs> and like a pyjama, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You can hear her talking to me there. Do you hear the little chirping sounds? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, she does seem connected yeah. to you, yeah. I can tell. Oh, hey, Willow. Oh, you can, yeah. Do you want to sit in the perch? Mm -hmm. Hey, Willow. You're putting her to sleep now. Yeah. She's probably not going to fly. Yeah. <laughs> tell him. You've had enough. I don't think she has though. No. <laughs> She's loving that. <laughs> She's like a parrot. She's like a cockatoo. Yo, know, you want to take her home? Hey, Willow. You will fit in with the rest. Is there anything you want everyone to know? Um, I love birds. <laughs> <laughs> That's my saying. I always say, I love birds. Yeah. <laughs> what got okay. you into birds? I don't know. I was always interested in every kind of animal, but birds in particular. And, uh, I'm just so happy that I get to do this every day, you know. It's an amazing thing to do. I wouldn't call it a job, because I don't think it's a job. I think it's a, a way to live your life, <laughs> and I, I love it. How did you get your first bird? My first bird was a pigeon that I found when I was about seven years old that had broken his wing. And I took him home, took him to the vet the following day, and the vet fixed up its wing and released it eventually, but that was the first close experience I think I ever had with a bird. I was probably eight or nine years old. Um, and uh, after that, I think we had a cockatiel. I'd say, I'd say I was maybe 15 or 16, but it was, it was a bird that had come from another home. It was probably, it was quite old when we got it. Not very, very friendly. What was your first bird of prey? First bird of prey um, was a snowy owl, actually. Um, a snowy owl called Pearl. Guys, so we've come to the end of the tour and my dream has happened. I'm cuddling an owl like a parrot. I don't know if you've been paying attention, but this bird's not food driven because this bird has been, obviously loves food, but this bird has grown up kind of living with Liam. So once this bird realized it was able to get head scratches, it was like, I'm not leaving and neither am I. 
this is unbelievable. A bird stepped up like a parrot. You guys gotta come out to Falconry Carry. I will put all the info in the description. You are, this is, you're gonna live your dream. Just come tell Liam that you're a sniffer. Oh my God, look at this. Step up, step up. This is an amazing bird. <laughs> oh, she's lovely. Okay, we gotta go, George. They're gonna have to kick us Willow. out. You gotta give Willow. the bird back, George. You gotta give the bird back, George. I think she wants to go back. She's gotta go, he's got another tour. He's very busy. Right, so, where are you headed for next? Uh, we're going to 